Hey there! Today, Design World is going to go over three torque limiters from Mach 3, a Kentucky-based manufacturer of stock and custom brakes, clutches, and torque limiters. The manufacturer usually can deliver custom designs within two days of obtaining application requirements. Mach 3 also meets or beats purchase order ship dates 98% of the time. Catalog products ship within two to five weeks and custom in three to six. Recall that friction torque limiters transmit a set torque from the motor end of the axis to the driven load end and protect both from overload. Should torque exceed a set value, the torque limiter slips. So let's check out our first sample, a T2A2R STL mechanical torque limiter on which a sprocket, pulley, or sheave can mount. This is a spring engaged design having low coefficient friction discs. Minimum torque is 20 pound inches and maximum torque with 20% spring compression is 200 pound inches. This one pound torque limiter works on axes with speeds to 1750 RPM. Of course, torque limiters can integrate into motion systems in a few ways. We just considered one that accepts input via sprocket and chain or pulley and belt assembly. Now let's consider one for shaft to shaft mounting. This is a V2R2R, a mechanical torque limiter with adapter sleeve. The latter necessitates simple but precision installation with a torque wrench and other tools, but these torque limiters usually ship with a specific torque value to within about 10%. Our third and final sample here is a V2G2R shaft-to-shaft -shaft mechanical torque limiter. It's complete with rigid coupling. This is a spring-engaged unit capable of torque maximums of 20 to 200 pound inches depending on the setting. One caveat, these torque limiters are for momentary events and will continue slipping unless the jam or other overload source is cleared. That means designs employing these components must include some way to detect overloads. For more information, visit Mach3.com and MotionControlTips.com.